Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well this is the long roots and it's absolutely uh, throwing it down outside. More like April showers, mid-March, madness. Got a little bit panicky. In here we've got the parsnips, the carrots and the beetroot. I haven't written on all the labels because I didn't want to but as you can see there see if you if you look at it properly there's the carrots there's the parsnips and we all know what uh, beetroot look like so where I am it's a bit awkward so what I'm going to do I'm going to get the two best ones out and put in the two drain the two gutters on the right hand side then I'll find the best carrot I only need one so I'll be snipping them off I've had two growing the guttering before and it's a nightmare because you're not sure which is the longest so you have to wash both of them and of course if you've got two root vegetables growing together at the same time they don't do their best so let's start with the parsnips I'll pick the two best ones I'll get them planted I'll show you as I go and then we'll open one up and you'll be amazed how long the taproot is on something so small. I'm hoping that they haven't gone out of the bottom of these kitchen rolls. I haven't looked yet because once you touch them, the cardboard tubes do fall apart as it starts raining again. Now I've popped it in, just lifted it up a little bit and you can see there in the middle of the screen, that's where the taproot is. So I'm gonna get that covered up now before it gets scorched with the, uh, the light. And that's a view from the top. And hopefully now that'll travel all the way down. We can only hope. Right, I'll get the rest done and then we'll open one up. So everything's back together now. I'm glad I started doing using the drip feeders well in advance because these two did slide down about 150 mil topped it up run it again so I panicked and I'll put the water uh, the compost in this side and run those but I've only got the two front the actual front row of drippers so there's uh, only one dripper to each one at the moment in the summer we'll venture up to two but the actual compost is uh, really wet so hopefully uh, this will do quite well in here so first of all then he says we've got mr carrot so we'll just open this up gently oh sorry sorry mr carrot Looks like it might be there. So you could imagine if you bought some carrots from the garden centre uh, and you wanted to thin them and then plant them, you just can't do it. So uh, there's the uh, length of my little fingers. And that's how far the taproot's grown with just the first true leaves. Beetroot always does well for me. And again, now you can see tap roots right down to there on that one that's the uh, beet root and then we go for the parsnip which looks the biggest this is my homemade compost I in hindsight now I would have used the sifted compost because you think once they uh, 
they really get going. Sorry guys, like I say, it's just a little bit awkward here. Ooh, come on, look at the parsnip and not your carrot. And uh, as you can see, that one's even longer. So as you can see, as they, uh, as they get bigger, as you can see, that's just two true leaves, but it's got to there. And this is the parsnip, which I think may have uh, forked slightly, but it's down to there. But don't mind, as long as that tap root keeps going. So you could imagine, oh, as he hits the corner of the post. We start with that and hopefully by September we'll get to this. It's mid-March at the moment, but they are fascinating. You, If you're going to transplant parsnips, you need to do it on the first true leaves if you're going to grow in kitchen rolls. Cardboard rolls, ooh, you'd just be struggling unless you've just got the two true leaves. So if you want to germinate your parsnips first and without disturbance and then pop them in the ground, you can do. But beware, they do grow quickly. Absolutely fascinating to see how they physically grow. I wasn't sure about that one, so I planted a smaller one. So hopefully those four in here will do well. I will leave these for now. And if we don't get to use them outside because of my time uh, looking after Mrs. K, I may have to uh, re-sow. And I might do that uh, now, actually, at home. Get another box, just in case. It's well worth planting plenty. I normally direct sow, but you sit there, like we do, waiting and waiting. And then by the time you think, oh, they haven't germinated, it's too late for the uh, competition. So it's well worth just bringing them on just a little bit to help uh, get a good start and we'll get all this system rigged up and there'll be four rows on this one. Two on the top, two on the bottom and I've changed it slightly, lowered it down because we had a slippage here last year and we lost absolutely everything. Lessons learned, a lot of effort and I ended up with a 12 inch parsnip. Some would say that's nice, but not in competition. Uh, Mrs. K is back home again after a second uh, a day at the hospital and a change of tablets just to try and help things along until uh, she can see the gynecology. But uh, you uh, ladies will know, she's had uh, the issues for 10 years, but uh, any ladies present will uh, know that having a fibroid that size uh, isn't uh, the most pleasant things for doing anything and it started to block her pipes up so she didn't go for a number two for three weeks so she's struggling a bit so I'm looking after her work have been very good they've told me to do what I need to do so juggling again I've watered all the beds in the uh, polytunnel and covered them up with cardboard we put some manure on there the worms have been very uh, happy to uh, move these about obviously that one's been up for a while but uh, there's uh, a few worms in here he says the old uh, red wrigglers and we know why we call them red wrigglers because they're red and they wriggle I've wet these beds up. I've bought the remaining celery, uh, giant celery, back from home. So I'm going to be planting some in here and uh, some outside when we're happy that the weather's getting a little bit better. Most of the beds have now been topped up. The winds have blown the cover off. Should have fastened it down, but I did take a harvest. So I'm glad I did. But the pigeons have absolutely decimated those. Temporary compost bins have now been capped and that's it now. They'll just carry on and we've got the super soil trial on this one to see if this uh, breaks down any better than the one this side. Both had roughly the same amount of material every time I've topped them up. Square foot gardening beds done. 
giant vegetable beds all topped up I'll put the pallet collars up there to dry out not a chance this weather move the wheelie bins to give uh, the uh, tulips a bit of room pinched a bit of manure from here for the worm bin all these have been topped up almost there's my little float trail uh, just need to tackle these I've topped these up because they're quite deep with uh, some of the leaf mould etc we took this cabbage out so I can take a harvest uh, very soon actually perhaps at the weekend and what a lovely display we're getting from uh, the the pear tree wildflower garden well bulb garden should we say Ali would be proud from the rusty garden this bed here has been done and as you can see we've been robbing the uh, four year old leaf mould from there and I've took all the top bits off and added to some of the beds and the uh, the worm bin I've cleaned this out almost to the bottom well to the bottom in most areas good thick layer of uh, straw one bag of straw then added uh, manure and all the other bits and bobs that we've had in here and uh, whether we've got a little bit of activity I hope a rat don't jump out it shouldn't do because he's uh, it's been left open a bit of warmth in there but uh, this is a good start to the bin even though it looks half full it's surprising how quickly uh, everything rots down once we start adding to it so all the manure all the material from this bin has gone into those other raised beds to top them up looks like the first tulip is coming out if you've liked the content please give me a thumbs up or a th thumbs down for the interaction Please leave me a comment and why not consider subscribing. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time my friends. Ta for now.